Downs in England, Clacton-on-Sea. We are here again with our array of towns. We enjoy doing this and we know you enjoy getting it from us. That is why we remain resolute in our determination to keep it up. In this video, we present the next on our list of towns in England, Clacton-on-Sea. We are so much certain that as little as this town is, it is important enough to deserve your time. We stand by the assurance we are giving you if you choose to watch this to the end. We know you would love to share this video as you would love to discuss whatever you saw here. Now, please enjoy this discussion about Clacton-on-Sea, one of the towns in England. About Clacton-on-Sea Clacton-on-Sea is in the Tendring district in the county of Essex in England. It is a seaside town located on the Tendring Peninsula. In its district, it's the largest settlement in population and size. It is within the UK Parliament constituency of Clacton. Clacton-on-Sea is situated around 123.8 kilometres northeast of central London, 64.4 kilometres from Chelmsford, 93.2 kilometres from South End-on-Sea, 25.2 kilometres southeast of Colchester Town, and 26.2 kilometres south of Harwich. We will discuss each of these towns gradually. Clacton-on-Sea has a significantly thriving economy that has continued to rely on entertainment and day-trip facilities, presumably as a seaside resort. However, its strength in the service sector and its large retired population are not in contention. There are two business or industrial parks in the northwestern part of the town. In its wider district, further employment is provided by agriculture and occupations which are connected to the port of Harwich. Brief History of Clacton-on-Sea the pivotal year in the history of modern-day Clacton-on-Sea is 1871, and the name Peter Bruff, the Essex railway engineer and land developer, can never be forgotten. Together with William Jackson, the steamboat owner and a group of businessmen founded this town in 1871 with the aim of developing a seaside resort. It was suited seaside resort because of its average of 1,682 hours of sunshine and 20 inches of rainfall. Thus, they decided to construct a pier and facilities, including the Royal Hotel, which have since been converted to flats on a stretch of farmland. These utilised trade from the Woolwich Steam Packet Company, which was at the time operating between London and Ipswich. In 1872, the town was officially incorporated, though laid out rather haphazardly over the following few years. By 1882, the Great Eastern Railway built a spur to Clacton-on-Sea from the resort of Walton-on-the-Sea with a junction at Thorpe-Lesoken. The population of the town had grown to 10,000 by 1914, which made it the largest seaside resort between Southend-on-Sea and Great Yarmouth. And by 1939, it has about 20,000 residents. All the while, Clacton-on-Sea, as a suburb of Essex, remained geared to catering to holidaymakers due to its accessibility. Just a year before the Second World War, Billy Butlin opened his second holiday camp at West Clacton. The camp, which was opened at the time of the British Parliament's passing of the Holidays with Pay Act, boosted the town's economy. This provided a guarantee that all industrial workers had an annual one-week paid leave. At the time, a week's holiday at Clacton could cost £3.10, about the average industrial wage. The camp project became immediately successful as it was an instant success, being fully booked almost all season. Though the army took over the place until 1945 for their use, the camp closed in 1983 because of package holidays and changing tastes. Of course, it reopened briefly as a theme park called Atlas Park. On April 30th, 1940, during the Second World War, a bomber crashed into the town and demolished several houses in the Vista Road area of the town because one of the magnetic mines on board exploded. Other bombings took place there during the war. In the 1960s following the war, the efforts of the Kingsman family, who had even before the war tried to develop the pier, paid off as the town witnessed huge developments. Clacton-on-Sea expanded exponentially in the 1980s and 1990s. New housing estates were developing in the rural margins of town. These were joined by 21st century brownfield developments. A newsworthy event that took place in the town was the F1 T2 tornado that occurred on November 23rd. Despite the large wind farm built in the early 2000s, about 4.9 kilometers offshore on Gunfleet Sands, which is still visible throughout the town, unemployment is still high there. Clacton-on-Sea Culture as little as the Clacton-on-Sea is, it has made some mark in culture, though not as significant as its popular name. The town can't be linked with any important gallery, cinema, museum or library. 
However, it has a lot of mentions in music and movies. It is also the location of many of these. A very good example of that is the Pet Shop Boys music video, Always On My Mind, which was filmed in the town. Clacton on Sea also provided the setting for the film It Couldn't Happen Here. Other cultural references to this town in books, poetry, prose, arts and entertainment were either not specific or too insignificant to be mentioned. People of Clacton on Sea This town has produced notable people in many fields. These include George Wiley Hutchinson, a Canadian painter and leading illustrator who retired there. He was the illustrator of the works of Arthur Conan Doyle, Hall Caine, Robert Louis Stevenson, Rudyard Kipling and Israel Zangwill. Joan Kiddell Monroe, another British author and illustrator, especially of children's books, was born in the town on August 9, 1908. After studying at the Chelsea School of Art, she worked in advertising for a while and later took to freelancing as an artist until her death in 1972. Folasadi Helen Adu, also known as Sade Adu, a Nigerian-born singer, songwriter, model and actress, lived in Holland-on-Sea, a suburb of Clacton-on-Sea from age four. Jennifer Worth, born in 1935, was a registered nurse and a musician. A British memoirist, she wrote a highly successful trilogy about her job as a nurse and midwife. Other hit names who were born, lived, worked or retired in the town are Flight Lieutenant Edward Pennell DFC 1894-1974, Long Distance Runner Arthur Townsend 1883-1937, Tom Eastman who played nearly 400 games for the EFL side Colchester as a centre-back and fiction writer Graham Hurley born 1946 to mention a few. Population of Clacton-on-Sea the last known population of this town in the official record is 56,874. If you remember, according to history, the population was less than 20,000 some 80 years ago. You would appreciate how the population has substantially increased during the 20th century. The town that recorded 7,456 at the 1901 census has increased to 25,000 by the 1960s. By 1991, it had increased by over 20,000 to reach 45,065. Cost of living in Clacton-on-Sea The average cost of living in this town is £1,690.8. This is in the top 29% if you try to rank it amongst the most expensive cities in the world. It would also rank 2,727th out of 9,294 in a global list, 146th out of 277 in the UK and 125th out of 231 in England. Let's illustrate this by considering a few individual goods, commodities and services. A family of four is expected to spend as much as £1,849.08 on rent, while an individual will spend an average of £991 in the centre of the town. On food, while an individual spends an average of £475, a family of four will spend £1,233.85. Also on transport, a person will spend an average of £75.55 per month, while an average family of four will spend £200.18. Utility bills for one person, that is electricity, heating, water and so on in Clacton-on-Sea average £141.37, while it is £217 for a family of four. Crime rate in Clacton-on-Sea A small town which is also a seaside resort is expected to have a very low crime rate. However, we would love you to determine for yourself if the crime rate in Clacton-on-Sea is high or low as we give you what we have in statistics. The overall crime rate in Clacton-on-Sea as of 2021 was 123 crimes per 1,000 people. In March 2019, the town was where Essex had the highest rate of possession of light and dangerous weapons with 14 crimes reported. It had a crime rate of 0.26 per 1,000 inhabitants. In August of that year, Clacton-on-Sea recorded 18 robbery crimes, giving a rate of 0.33 per 1,000 residents. We love this town, the potentials it has for development and the role it played in the past as a seaside town. We also love it for producing great people, but we don't like its crime and poverty rates. It is also lacking enough historical data. What about you? What do you love or dislike about Clacton-on-Sea? Please let us hear from you by commenting below.